Good afternoon. Hello. Can I come in? Of course you can. Did you call ahead? Yes, yes, I did. It's uh, hot in here, isn't it? What? I, I said it's hot in here. Oh, yeah. Cindy. Uh, it's my fault. I've got my coat on. Oh, well, take it off then. Yeah. Thanks. I don't do this often, you see. Hello, love. What's your name, then? Bob. Bob. Oh, I'll leave you to it. Come along, Bob. Something wrong? No, no. You can wait for Bella if you like. She's a very nice white lady. No, no, it's not that. I just wanted to make sure about the money. Don't worry about that. We're very reasonable here. In fact, we're running a special offer this month. 60 pounds. That's a straight sex without the extras. Do you think you can manage that, love? I'm, uh... I mean, second thoughts. I'm sorry. Go on, beat it. This isn't a peep show. I feel bad about that. So you should. Do you mean to put your hand in your pocket? No, it wasn't that. Hi, Joe. Oh, hello, Tracy, love. Catch you later. I wouldn't go in there if I were you, sir. Why not? Because I'm a police officer. I'm telling you not to go in there. You stay there. I'm arresting you on suspicion of keeping a brothel. You don't have to say anything unless you wish to do so, but what you do say may be used in evidence. Do you understand the caution? You don't know what you're doing. Got a result, Alec? You bet. Sergeant Cries, the hero of the hour, mind. Top undercover agent. I'll leave it out, Tony. Totally. Took five of us to break the door down. Uh, but that's because Sergeant Cry was holding it shut. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I'd never have believed it. What's that, Sergeant? Those boxer shorts. Polka dots. Yeah, the mentality of some people. OK. Joseph right, Barrett, so arrested on suspicion of keeping a brothel. Joe? All right, love. Not to worry. Soon be clear of this. Yeah, sure we will. We'll What's your call, mate, please, Miss Sure. Sarah? And don't say nothing. Joseph. I said tell him nothing. Well, we'll only get in worse trouble. Oh, yes. go away, you silly girl. Hey, I mean it. Stop we should stick you. together. You're still wet behind the ears, love. Don't you tell me what to do. I'm warning you. Not a word. Oh, yeah, all right, Ash. That's no, enough. That's Any joy? Yeah, we got the pink barraclough, and it looks like the girls will be helpful enough. Any joy, though, you know. Did the earth move? Thank you, sir. Do you empty your pockets, please? Yeah, of course, no problem. What do you reckon? The younger one, Tracy, she's not going to cooperate. The other two know what's what, though. Drop a hint. Tell them we don't have to take further action. Tracy can go in the cells for a while, then. Let her sweat. Who are you two whispering about? Can we get a WPC to do this? Oh, don't be so squeamish. Come on. Let's take a look at the toilet. What for? It's only a toilet. Fair lot of use you are. You spent two hours at the bookies where you lost about £400. In the evening, you went to the late, late night club. You've been following me? For a period of four days, that's right. At the night club, you were joined by Tracy and Cindy, known prostitutes. Well, it's uh, their business what they do. Not if you recruit them. Not if you provide premises for them to work in. Not if you're a pimp. I'm not a pimp. I know these girls socially. You have a front door key to the house. Yeah, so I don't disturb them. Whilst they're earning you money? No, no, they've never given me money. Well, you can ask them if you like. <laughs> don't make me laugh. No, I'm serious. We have clear evidence that you have been living beyond your known income. You can't prove that. And that you were... You can't prove that. You've got nothing on me. You're making a fool of yourself, you know that? Just shut it, all right? Temper, temper. What did Barrowcroft say to you when you first met him? Just the obvious. How much I'd be earning, where I'd be working. I'd do a week in London and a week up north. Barrowcroft organises it all. He's a fixer. A pimp? He's a pimp? 
If you like. Well, I'd like to hear you say it. Is on a percentage of what I earn. Bella? Yeah. 50% usually. And what about the other girl, Tracy? Same deal, I suppose. You sure about that? She seemed well in with Barraclough to me. What are you getting at? Well, did you know that the house is in her name? You're joking! That's daft. I don't believe it. It's true. Well, that crafty little devil. If you could just sign these statements here and here, I'm please. not sure about this. Well, you've committed yourself now, love. Yeah, but... Well, of course, it's up to you, but if you don't cooperate, well, there's a chance... That you lick me again? Yeah, I know that. All right, I'll do it. But you better make sure he goes down. Yeah, don't worry, we will. I mean it. You let him go, and we're the ones who'll pay for it. Marion, is Mr. Brownlow free? Sarge. Good. How'd you get on with them? Oh, these two are no problem. I'm just going to go and have a word with Tracy now. Hey, Tracy. How old is she? Do we know? Yeah, I looked in her driving license. She's 19. 19? If she talks, we can charge Barraclough with procuring someone under the age of 21. That'll hike his sentence up a bit. Yeah, but if she doesn't talk, we can't prove anything. Don't be stupid. We've got these from the other two girls, haven't we? Yes, but the house is in Tracy's name. Unless she's going to admit to fronting for Barraclough. Oh, I can easily show that. Can we? Of course we can. Well, obviously we can. Well, I don't see how. The only way we can build a case against Barraclough is if Tracy speaks against him, and I doubt whether she'll do that. You're right, Optimist, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Look, come and have a chat with her, June. See what you can get. Okay. Oh. Sarge, mm. I was wondering, look, seeing as I was second surveillance, do you think I could go and write out my summary and maybe Quinnon could do the interview with no, the girl? No, 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 it's best if you do it, June. Woman to woman has more impact that way. But, Sarge, Are you second-guessing me or what? Just do it! Yeah, the jip I've taken because of you. Yeah, much appreciated, Bob. And thanks for organising the manpower. It's been a good job, this. Yeah, wait a minute. Much progress. I've got it in hand. Stay mute, is he, Barraclough? Seems a tight. No, nah, he's chatty enough. As I say, I've got it in hand. Alec! Hmm? Alec, anything I can do to help? Maybe have a word with Barraclough? You're non-operational, Bob. Isn't it funny the amount of people that say that to me? I wasn't non-operational this morning. That was a one-off. No, no, I'm still on this job. No, you're not. I can't stand chatting all day. I've got work to do. Thanks a bunch. Sorry I wasted your time. Do you understand the caution? Yeah. Can you speak clearly, please, for the tape? Don't talk to me. I'm not interested. Look, you probably know this already, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It is CPS policy not to prosecute prostitutes when we turn over a brothel. We regard you as victims, not as criminals. Do you understand that? I'm not interested. It's the pimp we're after in cases like this. Barraclough. So don't try and do him any favours. Shut it. Don't tell me what to do. Look, I'm just trying to help you. No, you're not. You don't know anything about me. You're telling me lies. You think I'm just a tart, don't you? You don't know anything. Either Barraclough is your partner or he's your pimp. Which is it? He's just a friend. The house belongs to me and I share it with the other girls. Rubbish! Look, why are you trying to shield him, Tracy? He doesn't love you, for heaven's sake. I know that. Of course I know that. What, do you think I'm a fool? Interview suspended. PC Ackland leaving the room. I'll be back in five minutes. Oh. You haven't seen Sergeant Peters, have you? No, then where is he? Got a problem? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, it's like banging my head against a brick wall in there. She doesn't like me, and I don't like her. We're getting nowhere fast. This is Tracy. Yeah. Hope she doesn't like talking to a woman. Sergeant Peters says that. Yeah, yeah. I know what Sergeant Peters says. You must have a woman to deal with a woman. You must get a WPC to deal with a Tom. But that's only because the lads don't like getting their hands dirty dealing with slags. But some Toms prefer talking to a man. Oh, I know. Especially the young ones. They hate being interviewed by a WPC. They say it's like being interviewed by your mum. 
Well, in that case, why don't you get something to fill in for you? There's no shame in that. Horses for courses. Yeah, but Sergeant Peters... Oh, Sergeant Peters is blowing out of his ear hole. He's living in the ark, that man. Yeah, but what can I do, Sarge? Well, leave it with me, eh? Well, you're not going to do the interview yourself, cos he'd go nutty. I'm cleverer than that. Oh, Alec, well, I think Munro wants to work with you. Does he? Good for him. How's it going, then, this brothel job? Ah, don't ask. I have a feeling it's a blowout. You are joking. You caught a pimp in a whorehouse and you can't make it stick? Is that the hall from Malamain Road? Yeah, no smutty videos, huh? Then goes the Christmas party, then. I also found this in the toilet system. Oh, what is that? Well, it ain't sure, but... That will please Alec. Dave, will you take over from June? She's been interviewing Tom's all afternoon. We've got herself a dry throat. Ah, sure, whatever you say, Sarge. I thought it was a good move to use Bob Cry today. Now, you know how active he is. He needs to get out of the office from time to time. I thought it would keep him out of mischief. Give the station a bit of a rest. Oh, is Bob not popular these days, then? He could say that. Ah, that's the problem with being a duty sergeant. No one likes you unless you give them overtime. Yes, sir. Trace, isn't it? I'm Dave Quinn and I'm taking over. Is the tape still here? Yes. I'm PC Quinnan. Also present is PC Clark. You're still under caution, Tracy. So what happened to the other one? Fed up with me, is she? More or less, yeah. Mm. You were at the house, weren't you? Mm-hmm. Yes, according to our records, you're the legal owner of 59 Alamein Road. Is that correct? Sorry? Speak up, I can't hear you. I didn't say anything. Well, that's not much use, is it? So who pays the mortgage on the property? Is it you or is it Barraclough? Well, you know, you could go to jail for this, don't you? I can stand it. It won't be for long, will it? Yeah, probably not. Well, it's what you might call a technical crime, isn't it? Running a brothel. It's not like, say, dealing in drugs, is it? No, it's not. No. Because if we found, say, quantities of cocaine in the house, that would be a different story, wouldn't it? Did you? We don't know. Lab test hasn't come through yet. But don't kid yourself, love. You're in real trouble here. Yeah. Take a look through these papers. See if there's anything you can find. Where's Dave, by the way? Uh, he's in with the prisoner, Sergeant. I thought June was doing the interviews. Uh, I think Dave decided to take over. Just like that? Don't you think you should have consulted me first? Well, you'd better speak to him about that yourself, Sarge. I will. You're not a very good liar, are you, George? Who put him up to it? I don't know what you mean, Sarge. Is it Ackland trying to pull a fast one? Oh, it's nothing to do with June. Who, then? Well, Sergeant Cryer suggested that Dave should take over. We assumed he'd spoken to you about it. No, he didn't speak to me. Well, maybe he meant to and he forgot about it. That must be it. No sweat. All on the same side. It was my idea. Joe had nothing to do with it. Funny how mud never sticks to old Barraclough, isn't it, eh? I don't know what you mean. Look, I'll admit doing coke, all right? But I'm not going to tell you anything against Joe. All right. I won't ask you to. God, you're like Eddie, you are. Always on about Joe. Look, the best thing is just leave him alone. Eddie? Who's Eddie, then? I'm not saying. What, is he your brother? Boyfriend, what? He's not my brother, no. A boyfriend, then? Well, yeah. Does he know you're on the game? Yeah, he knows. Doesn't he mind? A bit. Does that bother you? No. I don't care what he thinks. Look, it would be all right if he went to a Tom, wouldn't it? But if I do it for money, gosh, I've brought shame on him. Does your mother know that you're a prostitute? You leave her out of it. You realise we might have to contact her for background information? Don't you dare, you filthy pig. How could you do a thing like that? Maybe I don't need to. Maybe if I could speak to Eddie, he could give me what I need. Thank you for agreeing to see me at such short notice, sir. Well, you know I've got an open-door policy, Bob. Actually, there was something I wanted to raise with you. Yes, sir? I wanted to have a word with you about Alec Peters. What about him, sir? Well, how does he seem to you? Any problems? He, uh... 
Seems fine. Why do you ask? Oh, it's no big deal. I just noticed he seemed to be taking rather a lot of sick leave. He's getting more than his fair share of complaints. It goes in cycles, sir. Next month, someone else will be getting clocked. Would you know how it is? Yeah. I was just worried in case some sort of pattern might be emerging. Do you think Alec Peters is not up to the job, sir? Not in so many words, no, but he has been under a lot of strain lately. Being stabbed in the course of duty. I wondered if he was feeling the stress. I wouldn't say so, sir. Alec is an experienced officer. He had the good sense to fully rest up. A younger man might have dashed straight back and cracked up. Nevertheless, perhaps he should see the job psychologist. Maybe he needs some counselling. I don't think so, sir. Alec is in fine shape. If anyone wants to see the job psychologist, it's me. <laughs> you, Bob? Yes, sir. I have to say that this uh, duty sergeant's job is beginning to drive me around the bend. Harris, it's the police. Don't be too long. Thank you. Eddie Harris. Yeah, Sergeant Peters, PC Quinnan, Sun Hill. Can we have a word, please? And go somewhere else. We've been talking to a friend of yours, Tracy Morgan. You do know Tracy, don't you? I know her, yeah. Well, she's your girlfriend, isn't she? Used to be. I chucked her over a year ago. When I found out she was a tart, she'd been nicked or what? She's been arrested, yes. She could go to jail. We don't want that to happen. We want to help her. Well, she's a tart. She should go to jail. You don't mean that, do you? Of course I do. That's a bit heartless, isn't it? I mean, she was your girlfriend after all. Oh, don't give me that. She doesn't care whether I live or die. If she did care, she would have come and see me. But that was it, not even a phone call. Well, look, look at it this way. Hang, hang on a minute. What do you mean? When should she have come to see you? She's not told you that, has she? She's told us nothing, no. I went to see that pimp of hers. She's not told you that. No. Well, I warned him what would happen if he didn't let her go. I wanted her off the game, you see. Well, so what happened? Nothing much. He said, yeah, fine, she can go if she wants to. And then a week later, I got done over. I used to work for an insurance company. I was off work so long, I lost my job. And now I'm here loading boxes onto pallets. It's pathetic. Are you saying Barraclough beat you up? Yeah, that's what I said. Are you sure it was him? Him and two other blokes, yeah. They waited outside a pub for me, in the car park. Barraclough come over, said that he slept with my Tracy, that half the world had slept with her. I went to clout him and... I want you to go to court, give evidence against Barraclough. Will you do that? What, and get beat up again? Yeah, great. Would you want him to get away with it? Or will you do it? You're right. But you've been immensely successful as duty sergeant. <laughs> Too successful. I didn't join the job to be a politician. Look, Bob, take some time over this, will you? I'd like you to reconsider. But I have reconsidered. I've spent months considering. My mouth's getting dry. I thought I was finished. We have a second shift, love. Sergeant Peters is dealing with the brothel case. We want to talk to you about the drugs. All right. Ask away. This afternoon, I spoke to an Eddie Harris. Do you know him? No. Tall chap used to go out with Tracy Morgan, one of the prostitutes we arrested this afternoon. Still don't know him. Mr Harris alleges you assaulted him, causing grievous bodily harm. Is that correct? No, that's not true. I've also interviewed Tracy Morgan. She's been informed that her ex-boyfriend is pressing charges against you. She's elected to make a statement to the effect that you procured her to act as a prostitute. Is that true? No. At no time. Are you aware that Miss Morgan is under 21 years of age? Yeah, I knew that, I suppose. Tracy has also admitted that she sold cocaine and cannabis to customers at the brothel. She claims she was working in partnership with you. No, that's lies. That is lies. That's all we need. In a moment, you'll be charged with the following offences. Keeping a brothel, allowing habitual prostitution on premises of which you are the landlord. It's not my house. It's in Tracy's name. We believe otherwise. Let's let the jury decide, shall we? Did you try? What? Did you try and leave? Did you tell Barraclough that you wanted to give it all up and move on? Of course, of course I did. Are you sure about that, Tracy? Yes. Yeah, all right, Sarge. That wasn't meant to be an oppressive comment. I just... Th
Do you go to see Eddie after the attack? No. Why not? Don't you love him? Of course I do. Didn't you think that he would appreciate a visit? I didn't dare take the risk. It would have been too dangerous. Look, Joe gets so jealous, you see. Does he? Very well. The interview is concluded. So what'll happen now? Now? Well, you won't be charged until the lab test comes through. So we'll bail you for the time being. Have you got someone who stands surety for you? Not really. Well, maybe Bella or Cindy will do it. Someone of good repute. Well, my sister's the only yeah, one, but... be discreet, all right? Just sign there, will you? Do you think I'll go to jail? Not if you stick to your story. It's the truth. Joe was always threatening me. I was afraid of him. Oh, yeah? So afraid that you took part in a criminal conspiracy? Yeah. I admit I sold the drugs. But you have to understand, I was coerced. You were coerced? That's right. I knew that Joe was violent. Look, I feared for my life. Don't flannel me. What do you mean? Nobody made you do anything you didn't want to do. So don't come the innocent with me. As God is my witness, I hated what he made me do. Do you think I like selling those filthy drugs? I think you didn't care that much about it. I also think it was your idea to put the house in your name. Not true. That's not true. Sarge, we can't prove that. I didn't say we could. Why won't you believe me? I'm a victim. A victim? You're as hard as they come, Tracy. Yeah, I have to be.